All right, guys. Just wanted to make this video quick and short and simple, I guess. Um, so, been messing around with 3D printing quadcopter chassis. Chassis. Um, the what really motivated me to do this was the uh, QX75 has aluminum arms and it's hard to show but right where the arm connects to the base like the main hub where it meets up say like right here and there's like a hole drilled there um, for the cables the wires to run through and it just makes it a little bit of a weak point and I wasn't able to crash it very hard before they bent and it made it just really hard to re-bend them back and uh, trim it out good so I wanted to get rid of the fact that maybe I'll have to ever really replace the chassis ever again. So, started designing something, came up with this first. This guy's pretty beefy though and weight uh, overweight. It's 9 grams of ABS, <clears throat> which weighs handily um, 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed or 1 gram per centimeter cubed. And uh, so that makes calculating stuff very easy. And uh, um, this is my second design, already attached, or still attached to the motors and stuff. Um, I basically made these motor sleeves that the motors shove up into. It makes them super tight up in there, because you sand them out to basically fit perfectly. Um, it's a, almost a perfect fit regardless. I mean, um, the measurements come out perfect on my printer, so... Uh, I just had to sand it out a little bit so that they'd slide up there without damaging the plastic. Which, on this design, I actually did kind of crack the plastic right here. But uh, no biggie. Super glue fixes everything. Um, and, uh, anyways, this uh, quadcopter actually has some flex. If you can see here, I'm not going to go too far. But I'm not afraid to flex it. And I've crashed it pretty hard on some hard surfaces and it still hasn't broken, so I'm almost about to consider this my final design, but I want to go through it again and maybe redesign a little couple things here and there, cable management and such. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, anyone else interested on maybe um, getting some parts for this? I'm basically going to be looking on banggood.com for some sort of uh, um, fairly popular um, quadcopter that I can basically just buy the boards, the motors, or have people just go ahead and buy the boards, motors, props themselves, and a battery, and the transmitter that goes with said setup. And then they can just download the... Uh, um, the, the design and print it themselves and say hey this guy printed something cool and he flies around and it's neat <laughs> I guess <laughs> I don't know it's fun mess around with the design make your own designs that's that's the whole point about this um, venture is tinkering and such um, yeah so I uh, never mentioned but this uh, chassis weighs five grams so I lost four grams off this one. And flight time with this one was around five minutes with very minimal maneuverability. And then after five minutes, it would just kind of hover for about 60 seconds. And then uh, it would get the um, LVC flash. And uh, with this, I get nearly 10 minutes, nearly 10 minutes, that's correct, of flight. And uh, then it basically just kind of goes straight to LVC from there. Alright, so that's about all I had to say. Uh, like, dislike, leave some comments down below. Please leave comments down below. Spread the word. Um, this is what I'm really getting into for school, is uh, electronics tech, and uh, I'm also getting my uh, CAD certification, so blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. They come in all forms, shapes and features Anyone could be one, or even become one Anyone could be one, so if you see one, run They're the most easy creatures They come in all forms, shapes and features Anyone could be one, or even become one Anyone could be one, so if you see one, run They're the creatures They come in all forms